Welcome back everyone. We are in chapter four, hanging out in Roland and currently investigating the fog. Um, we've done two of the main areas we had to look at. We did the North Maga Trail and the South Elise Highway already. Um, and then we just have to head on the Milch Main Road, which is also where one of our other side quests is for the moment. So we're going to head out that direction and do that stuff. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to rest at the hotel so Chloe can get her EP back. Before I go fight more monsters. Now we're going onto the highway. Oh jeez. I sort of vaguely remember those monsters. They are giant and terrifying, though. Whenever I see something that big, I assume it's a monster I have to go exterminate, but it's not. Surviving bombs, that's nice. Alright, so I now have three of the fishing spots marked. I don't know how many there are. Are you gonna be monsters again? No! Not a monster chest this time! Hooray! In the last game, that spot gave me a lot of trouble. I died to those monsters many, many times. This time it wasn't even a monster chest, it was just a Sepeth chest. And we're out of the fog. So along the Milch Main Road, the fog clears around 80 shells from the city. And there are monsters creeping about in the fog as well. This could be a threat to travelers. Yeah, that's true. And we've checked all three roads now, so... Time to head back and report to Ina, right? Unless you can think of any other pressing business, I'd say that's right. No, first we need to go find and kill the monster. Good god, those things are terrifying. They're giving me anxiety. looking at them is making me anxious. Um, I will try heading down towards the farm too, I think. Just in case there's a fishing spot down there. Oh, no thank you. No thank you. No thank you. I don't remember if they had any water. I don't think they did. At least not the kind I can really interact with. I figured it couldn't hurt to check, though. We were already over this far. Haha. <laughs> I like poking the chickens because they give me eggs. <laughs> you can make the cow moo. Oh, that's great. Everybody loves her clothes! Multiple people in town have complimented her new skirt. Very sweet. Everybody in town just cares about her so much. Oh, 
right, it's been a while. Things going well? It has been some time. Come from Roland? I bet it was hard to see with that fog on the highways. Actually, we're out here investigating that fog. Are you now? Well, good luck with that. Really earning your keep as a bracer, aren't you? Perhaps that's due to your wonderful mentor's guidance, hmm? It's more thanks to her own efforts. I did oversee her training, but I hardly taught her anything at all. She managed to become the pistol she is all on her own. That's not true at all. You've always been there for me, Shira. You taught me a lot of what I know. Well, one way or another, it's an impressive feat. You're doing your job like a real professional, like you were born for it. You keep on doing us proud out there, you hear? Us hometown folks will cheer you on the whole way. Be sure to watch out for your health, though. You're still a growing girl. In here, I can steal. No, okay. What about this one? Any produce or anything I can steal? No, okay. I guess stealing eggs from your chickens was enough. That one might have been a monster chest last time, too. I don't remember for sure, but... Ooh, new blade for Agate. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, where's this monster I need to exterminate? Oh, there's so many of these giant things. I don't want to fight them. <laughs> I'm terrified to fight, fight them. Zerum powder in a random chest in the area. That's kind of weird. Okay, so I somehow missed the monster because I shouldn't be able to go all the way to the checkpoint. Giant foot. So where the heck is Giant Foot? Oh. I walked past him. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, there's three of them. And four little monsters. Weak to fire. Yes, walk into my trap. Thank you. Take down. Hi, that hurt. Wasn't awful, but it hurt. Agate can focus on killing some of the little ones at the moment. Oh no. You're mad. That's not good. Whew. 
That was nice. Okay. Now oh, you're mad too. Nope. Can't do anything because I just use camphor. Attack the little guy. Chloe is also the target of his anger, which is probably not good. Which one of these is impede you? Oh no. Everybody's mad. Just mad again. And she has nothing because I just used it. I was going to use it on the guy who's angry, but it would just be a waste, I think. He only has like 200 health. It's a waste of an S-Craft. Although, that is problematic. That is very problematic. Yep, I'm gonna die. Because I can't do anything right now. That almost went well. So I for sure need to impede them though. I can't let them get this attack off. Almost not awful, and then it was. Ooh, he moved closer. That's not good. Um, see if I can knock him back by everybody else. A little bit. I at least got the other guy back in his circle. did a ton of damage to them. I just need to not let them get mad like that. Um, you don't have enough to really do much of anything, so attack the cat. Chloe, you kind of suck. Impede that guy. Oh, and kill that guy. I'll take that. That's not what I wanted, though. She retargeted to the one super weak guy. I mean, at this time, Estelle's the only one who's in it hit by it, but still rather just get rid of it. Um, 
Can I kill him before his turn? I should be able to. And that guy's not gonna get mad because he hasn't taken any damage yet, so he should be fine. Interrupt him and get the critical. Wow, he just wasted his turn to move. Not what I was expecting. Now he's mad. Not too bad, and I got two level ups from that. I'll take it. And now I can head back to town. I'm not sure where the rest of the fishing spots are, though. There's gotta be more than three, right? They wouldn't only have three. Did you guys hear the sound of a bell just now? Yeah, it sounds pretty far off though. It was really very lovely too. Yeah, I know. It was like hypnotizing for a second there. That's not good. Uh, Shira, you okay? You're spacing out. Uh, no, it's nothing. Like you said, it's a lovely sound. It enchanted me for a moment, that's all. You too, huh? You don't hear a bell that nice often. I wonder if Rhinon got one in or something. It's possible. Anyway, we have a clear picture of how far the fog extends now. We should let Ina know. Good work, everyone. Let me pay you for your efforts before we continue. Ooh, leveled up. I have to admit though, I was expecting a more vague report. If the fog has boundaries that clearly defined... <sighs> yes, it's all but impossible to think of it as unnatural when you see it that... When, wow. I'm still a little unclear on just how big the entire um, fog cloud is. Let's take a look at it on a map. So if it's 60 south, south, 80 to the west, and 140 north, it should look something like this. That's not really as helpful as I thought it'd be. Yes, it's strange. The way fog spreads should change based on its point of origin and the direction of the wind. Meaning we're still completely in the dark on what's causing this or what it means. Guess all we can do is stay ready for anything. I'm afraid so. The army's still on the fence about mobilizing, too. Oh, that reminds me. Hey, um, Tita? I don't suppose your grandpa has any inventions that are like, um, a fog remover or something. A what? Um... Grandpa did make something called a dehumidifier once. A dehumidifier? So it removes water vapor from the air, right? That's perfect! Could we use that? Um, I don't think so. It's meant to be used indoors. You'd need hundreds to affect a place as big as Roland. And even if we had them all, it wouldn't fix the actual problem. Huh. Technology fails us, huh? It'd also be nice if we had some solid evidence the society is behind this. This feels a little half-cooked, I think. For them, anyway. 
I think you mean half-baked. And, uh, what makes you say that? So far, everything they've used their Gospels for has been sort of world-shaking phenomena, right? Literally, in one case. But just producing some fog isn't really that impressive. Good point. You'd think this would be like a flesh-eating doom fog thing. Or something coming from them. Uh, and let us not forget, every time they have given us a message in some form or another. This time, however, not a murmur. Wait, have they? My rival's ghostly projections, the wolf appearing amongst sheep, and our kitten's lovely letters. Each time, there were provocative signs spurring us into action, but here, silence. That's true, I guess. Hmm. Put it like that, it does come across as rather half-baked. Hmm? Shira, is something the matter? A message. We may have received one already. What? What? When did we... Help! Someone! Mayor Klaus? Oh, good, you're all... Mayor Klaus, what's wrong? You look like you just ran a marathon. Wait, why am I getting the weirdest sense of deja vu? Mayor Klaus, please, catch your breath. Has something happened? Has something... You could say that, yes. I'm glad to see you're all safe, at least. Mayor, what do you... Mayor, if you could explain. Just a few moments ago, Lita collapsed in my home. Several other citizens have fainted in the same way. What? Something to do with that bell. I know who a lot of those people are just by looking at them. I've been to all the houses, and it seems the symptoms are the same in every case. Their breathing is stable, and their pupils look fine. They seem to be asleep, so they shouldn't sicken further, I think. I see. It's a small mercy, at least. If we cannot rouse them, however, I doubt I need to elaborate. Mayor, we have to find a solution, as fast as we can. Hmm. Estelle, are you feeling alright? You're so pale. I'm okay. It's just... Even Elise's mom and Luke collapsed. It's kind of a shock. Estelle, if you're not feeling well, you can go back to the guild house, you know. Or you could rest at home. No. I can't let myself get all mopey, you know? Father, you really have no idea why they're comatose? I'm afraid I don't. I desperately wish I did. The traditional church remedies for awakening the sleeping aren't working, so I don't think it's a poison or illness. It's more like... Adios preserve us. But it's like their souls are trapped by something. Their souls? For the moment, it seems the best course of action would be to visit the homes of the afflicted. We need to find out what exactly the situation was like when they fell into these... comas. Ah, right. Let's go. Estelle, Sherizard. As of now, in my capacity as Mayor of Roland, I am formally requesting guild assistance. Please, discover what has caused this, and assuage the fears of our people. Just leave it to us, Mayor. We'll do everything in our power, sir. I swear it. Hey guys. Am I the only one who's suspecting the society behind all this? No, I'd put money on those idiots being the cause of all this. A deep, sudden coma that the local church head can do nothing about? It certainly seems like the sort of incredible phenomenon we were talking about. Thanks, guys. I was hoping I was just being paranoid. But then, I have to wonder, has anyone received a message? That's a good question. You did write down the full list of people who fall in comatose, yes? Oh, one sec. We can begin by asking the family, friends, and associates of those four about anything suspicious. We can return to the guild house once we've done so. Right. Okay. 
but quickly we are also... Where am I? Goodness. Also going to return to the guild house to turn in the Milch Main Road monster. That one's new. Search for lost cat. Really? Is this the same girl who lost her cat in the first game? I'm betting it is. This chick can never hold on to her cat. Okay. So we still need to finish the fishing spots. But I've done three so far. I don't know how many there are. We're gonna have to go find a lost cat. And then we need to talk to the people around these four. <sighs> All right. We're going to end this episode right here, and then in the next one we'll go find a stinking cat and then start talking to the people for the main quest line. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you see, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, whatever. <laughs> and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time.